Hi and welcome to Test and Measurement Video 32. Today we are looking at the amazing Fluke 190 502 scope meter. We'll connect channels A and B to utility power as accessed through a branch circuit. For this demonstration, we want the two signals, as depicted in the display, to be 180 degrees out of phase. An easy way to do this is to connect the probe tip of channel A to the hot or black wire and the ground return lead of channel A to the neutral or white wire. Simultaneously, we connect the probe tip of channel B to the white wire and the ground return lead to the black wire. Thus, the two channels have opposite polarity if we may be permitted to use that terminology in connection with alternating current. With a bench type oscilloscope, such a hookup should absolutely not be made because it would result in a high current short circuit. This is because in effect the probe whose ground return lead would be connected to the hot wire would carry fault current to the oscilloscope ground plane and from there back to the neutral terminal at the premises service. Using a handheld battery operated oscilloscope that is totally isolated from the premises electrical system ground and that has channels that are isolated from one another, such a hookup is permissible without fear of fault current. With both probes connected in this manner, as you can see the two waveforms that are 180 degrees out of phase are shown in the display. Notice that the positive peak of channel A coincides temporally with the negative peak of channel B. These two out-of-phase voltages cannot be directly combined, but on the screen of the oscilloscope they can be added using the math facility. To do this, first press scope to normalize the toolbar at the bottom of the display. Notice now on the right side, Waveform Options. To access this menu, press F4. Then, using the right and down arrows, highlight Math and press Enter. Now, by default, the left hand is highlighted. It is function. Using the down arrow, highlight add and press enter. Notice that the sum of the two waveforms is zero, signified by a straight horizontal line that crosses the y-axis at zero. You can always make the display look a little bit better by pressing Scope. That gets the menus out of the way. The result of the math operation is shown in yellow, which is not one of the dedicated channel colors. We can look at some other functions as well. The XY mode shows a line graph of the function and spectrum is a bar graph indicating power content at different frequencies. As we have seen, connecting to opposite sides of a sine wave utility voltage and accessing the math facility reveals some interesting capabilities. For reasons discussed at the beginning of this video, the handheld battery-powered oscilloscope with channels isolated from ground and from each other lends itself to this type of exercise. Thanks for watching. New videos are added regularly, so check back often.